Hey, welcome back. This is part two of my video on what happens when things go wrong, kind of behind the scenes or just, I don't know if it's so much behind the scenes, it's probably just like, yeah, it's not always good, guys. I'll drop a link up here to part one somewhere. So if you didn't watch that, you can, you can see the first part of the video. Anyway, have a look. Uh, I may try to go back downtown before they do a lockdown to, to try to do the video I actually intended on doing, uh, but we'll see. Peace. But then start looking at the industries that you're in. Haha, <laughs> I forgot my gloves. I was in such a hurry. Oh man, goes the figure. One day I get to get out and try to relax a little bit, get some stuff done for fun. It rains. All right. So this would be a really good time to remind everybody that if you're riding on a motorcycle or even driving a car, when it first starts raining, the streets start getting slick. Yes, indeedy, Bob. All that crappy grime and stuff that's uh, sticking to the surface of the street kind of loosens up. So don't forget. No herky-jerky movements. Make sure you adjust for that when you're thinking about where you are traction-wise. Be careful putting your boot down on the ground. <laughs> you might get crap all over it or get, it, get the bottom of your boot slick. Then later on in the day, you go to put your boot down because that's never happened to me. No, sir. Liar. So anyway, opportunities, 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 yep. So professionally, whatever industry you're in is being impacted in one way or another right now and probably a very major way. And, you know, for some industries, uh, man, you guys are busier than hell. Others, such as the meeting and event industry that I'm in, yeah. It ain't good. But here's one thing we know for sure. When we come out of this on the other side, things are gonna be different pretty much across the board in every industry. Uh, especially in, in mine, you know, in meetings and, and conference management. You know, guys, don't kid yourselves. It ain't going back. People are, over the next few months, are gonna realize what some of us have been saying for a long time what the industry needs to do to, to change. Up in here real quick. As people start moving more towards leveraging a lot of technology that's out there to hold their events as best they can. And that's going to create a lot of opportunity for folks. You know, the question is, are you one of the ones that are going to see it and are going to be able to take advantage of it and leverage it? So kind of look for stuff like that and start getting ready. Start preparing yourself. Oh, man, these roads are slick. Damn, I wanted to go over there. I can't figure out where all that friggin' traffic is coming from. I don't know. I don't know, senor. But I need to get over there. So, oh shit. Man. Like I was saying before, these roads be slick. All right, well, surprise, surprise. That didn't work out the way I thought it was gonna work out. Uh, we got stuck in the rain. 
Then got caught in construction traffic for like, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. My legs are burning up. Sophie got out, it's all kinds of get out. Finally found a bridge here uh, to pull under to kind of wait out this, uh, this rain a little bit, see if it dries out. You know, oops. Anyway, I don't even know if this is going to turn out because um, this is the, the media mod I, I just got, got in the other day. It's been on back order forever and I haven't even tested it out. So hopefully these mics work the way they're supposed to. Who knows? Um, going back to what I was saying about opportunity. There is one opportunity that we all have right now, each and every one of us, and that's the opportunity to treat each other with kindness, with respect, with dignity. I don't know what the hell's going on with some people out there. I've just, I've seen people just, it's like they're losing their minds, absolutely losing their minds, you know? And it doesn't have to be that way. We're all in this together. This is, this, this thing is not going to not touch every single one of us. I mean, we're all, we're all gonna be touched by it. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, how, how are we gonna, gonna deal with it? And I think that we can deal with it and keep, um, keep a humane approach to things, you know? It, it, it. Treat each other with kindness. Maintain your dignity. Treat each other and, and consider, you know, other people's dignity. You know, it, it's just, I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm rambling here. It's just really bothering me the way that I'm seeing uh, some people react. And it's everything from the, the hoarding which, you know, the more you hoard, the, the, the less other people have available. It's just ridiculous. Don't even be started on that. But um, to, yeah, I don't want to get into too much detail, but to large businesses sticking it to small businesses, let's just put it that way. Um, it's, it's crazy, man. It's absolutely crazy. So if you have an opportunity to, to be kind to someone, take it. You know, if, um, if you live in a community where you've got elderly people, um, reach out, see if they need help. I, it's really funny because I never considered myself to be in that elderly category, uh, nor Ms. Percy, but um, I guess other people think we are. Go figure, don't know. Um, you know, on top of the, the age category, I'm also dealing with being in a high risk group of, of having diabetes, you know, and that's, that's not fun. Um, Another reason to stay positive, for those of you that are diabetic, you, you guys know how bad of an impact uh, depression can have uh, for people dealing with diabetes. So you know, don't, don't go down that rabbit hole. Uh, maintain a positive approach, stay on top of your, your meds, stay on top of your numbers. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm rambling. All I know is, um, I'm grateful for everybody that's in my circle. I'm grateful for all of you that, that kind of hang out at the channel and that I'm connected with online. Um, I may not be able to reach out and help you, you know, tangibly, um, you know, physically or whatever, but, you know, if there's anything I can do, like lend an ear, I'm, I'm here, I'm online, you know how to reach me. Um, but I'm a good listener, you know? That's kind of stupid, isn't it? Yeah, just be kind, man. Be kind to one another. Take care of each other. I don't know. This could be the end of the video. I don't know what I'm going to do. It looks like it stopped. Uh, the rain stopping. I may try to get back out and see if I can get some shots or something. I really like this. Uh, like to try out this camera because I, I haven't uh, haven't had it out riding yet, and I, and I think it is a, a really good camera for folks on motorcycles. And I'll do a video on that later at some point. Anyway, you guys have a good one. Take care. Don't touch your face. Wash your hands. Don't sneeze on people. Peace. Damn, I'm hungry. Gotta get something to eat.
I think they closed down their dining halls. This will be interesting. Here we go. Yeah, hi. Can I get a Big Mac and a medium order of fries, please? Big Mac sandwich? A Big Mac sandwich and a medium order of fries. Okay, that's it? That's it. 782, good window. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so let's just go over here. 